Hello everyone. In this video, I want to give you a different perspective on how you can leverage Nodi and use other applications from within Nodi. Now, there is no web viewer for Nodi, but one good thing is that they do have an embed feature where you can embed web pages and bookmarks, but for some sites, you can actually even embed some of the web apps that are out there on the internet that you probably have desktop apps for but you can embed them into Nodi and you can create this virtual environment to where you can run some of the web apps and while you're in Nodi doing some of your visualization or just creating cards and content. So you can almost have Nodi as that one-stop shop where you can manage your tasks, your calendar, even do some AI stuff within there. And I'm going to show you how you can do this. So I have a project here that's called applications. In here I just have one board on it. Nodi is very flexible. You can you can set this up however you want for convenience. I put everything on one board, but you could have a board per application. So the way I've done it here using just one board what I've done is I've gone to the internet and I've grabbed a link, say for these particular apps down here, like TickTick, -tick, and pasted it in here, hit the embed option that comes up. Let me go to the web and pull the link URL for this just to show you how this works. You will not get the login information. That'll be the only thing that'll be different here but you will get to see me pasting the link in there you can see it goes in there it logs on i've already logged in so all that information is there for it to leverage and it goes right to the application within here this is a book this is a bookmark or web link type of object within nodi on its board you can change this to just a bookmark or you can have it embed, which is the way you would want it, if you want to see the full website with the application. I have it here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one here or remove it from the board so I can show you what I've done with the application here already. Now, I do have frames set up here at the bottom. Nodi has changed this format just a little bit recent, recently ago. And they have content and they have these bookmarks. But in the com content section, you can have your frames and other objects show up here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Tick Tick frame where I have the Tick Tick web application in a frame that I've just labeled Tick Tick. You can see this here at the top. One good thing here, too, with the way Nodi works, when you click on a frame, it pulls that frame literally right next to this window or this this table of contents navigation pane here and it butts it up as close as it can to it and it puts this label the name of it right here at the top so every time you click on one of these here you will see that it will bring the application and that web that frame to the the top here the top left corner and if I move, say, let's close the navigation pane here, and I click on this again, you can see how it pushes it right up against here. So you can easily come in here and you can put your apps in a, or web apps in a frame so that it fits the window and everything looks the way you want it here. So all of these here, if I click on them, you can see it comes here. Some of this here is bleeding off the screen just because I typically have it on a bigger display that has more room on it so I can show more but this one here I'm on the smaller screen here so that's why it's a little bit scrunched up but in order to access the app all you have to do is double click on it and then it gives you access to the application and I can come in here and I can click around on the app I can open things up no different than if you were just sitting in a browser using this application. Now, if I want to resize this window here of the app, all I have to do is click out of it so it's not selected. Then I can come in here and this is pretty much treated like any other object on the whiteboard. I can reduce it down, 
say so let's go ahead and click on there again it pushes it to the side and then from here I can come in here and I can get it just to the size that I want for the screen or the display that I have now let's say you want to leverage AI artificial intelligence is not built into noting but by using this same feature or uh, concept on how you can put applications within Nodi on a board, you can get some AI features that otherwise you would have to have a different application open, uh, maybe side by side and do it that way. So let's, let me show you how you can do that here. I'm gonna open up a perplexity here. We can see here I have Gemini right next to it. But if I want to leverage, let's say, Perplexity or Gemini, I can easily come in here and let's browse to Perplexity. You can even open up or have one window just for Google and Google search or one of the search options. And then you can search for stuff and get to it that way. But even though there is, again, there's no official web viewer here, you can still paste say the Google search engine in there and get the stuff that's on the web. You just don't get the URL bar to where you can type in an actual URL and get to a specific site from that way. But here I have perplexity open. Let's go ahead and grab or just do a search here. I'm going to click on this one here. It's going to bring back some content and let's say I want to grab some of this and put it in a note. I can come in here and create a new card. We can get the window sized the way that I need to here. Let me see if I can grab that and pull it off to the side so it's out of the way. If I want to grab some of this text, all I have to do is select it there. I can copy, I can paste it there. If I want to get one of these images, I can click on the image and you can see here that it'll let me drag that image. I can literally just drag it right over here to this card and drop it on there as well. This is something that most people probably don't know that you can do with a Nodi just because they haven't tried it. But there are some things that you can do in Nodi that were probably not particularly designed to be done this way, but it is possible to do it. See how I can just come in here and I can put text in there. So all of this information, if I just wanted to grab some of this stuff after prompting this thing for whatever I want it to, I can just come in here and I can still paste that information in here. And then from there, I can expand this this card out and I can flush it out any way I want to. I can put it on a board. I can create connections, so on and so forth. Then once I'm done with that, if I want to jump back over into some planning, I can hop back into Tick Tick here. I can look at my calendar from within the app here. And if I need to do anything, scroll around, etc. I can do it all from within Noti and it actually works pretty well. I've not had too many issues working with these pages in here. The only thing you have to get used to is that in order to do anything within the app, you have to double click and then you get the cursor here and then you can work with anything there. And if you want to get out, then all you have to do is just click on the outside of the periphery of the application and then it, the, it will change the focus to where you can start doing stuff with the whiteboard itself. So it's pretty convenient, intuitive, easy to get used to, in my opinion. And here's another tip that you can do here. So if you find yourself going from different project or different areas within Nodi, so if I open this up here, if you find yourself going back and forth between here and there and you want to get to one of those apps or even more of those apps a lot quicker than just finding the project going into my app and then clicking on the frame itself which could break your flow even more than going to the desktop and getting access to that app what you can do here is you can go to the app as is, as it is on the board click on that frame and Pretty much every object has a deep link within Nodi. So you can come in here, you can copy the link there to this frame. And what you can do is Nodi has added a new feature in here where you can add links to your favorite. 
So I can come in here, I can click there, I can put the link in here, and then I can just call this Tick Tick, which is this app. I can save it. So if I go into my journal, maybe I'm typing some stuff there, and if I want to get back to Tick Tick fairly quickly, I can just click on that link, and we can see that it comes back up here. Then you can go ahead and close whatever windows you need to, or just click on the frame to get things oriented the right way. So that's just another tip if you're going to use this particular method on how you can quickly access the applications. All right, so I hope this opened up your eyes on some things that you can do with Noti. Some people may find this convenient, others may not, but just know that the option is there for you to use it however you want to. As I mentioned before, not all websites work. This isn't a proper web viewer. So some things do work, some things don't. I found if you're getting authenticated for any of the certain sites, most of them may not work for you. I have found that any of them that uses your Google authentication or a basic authentication page where you just put in a username and password, those typically seem to work. If it prompts you for any more than that, then it may not work in this scenario. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.